This demonstration will show you how to change the way a workflow starts using the Workflow Settings Wizard from the K2 Workflow Design Canvas. If you recall, there are two options presented to you when you first create a K2 workflow within SharePoint. If you are using Smart Forms, you can choose to have the workflow start when a Smart Form such as the New or Edit Form is submitted. You also have the choice to start the workflow based on SharePoint events that fire against a list, such as when an item is added, updated, deleted, checked in, and so on. Now, keep in mind, if you decide not to use Smart Forms, you will only be able to start a K2 workflow based on a SharePoint event. After you have created a workflow for your application, there may be a time when your requirements change in relation to how your workflow should be started. For example, you may have a custom Smart Form you want to use to start a workflow, rather than the default New or Edit Item Smart Form that K2 originally creates. You may also want to change the SharePoint event used to start the workflow. If this happens, you do have the ability to access the workflow settings from the K2 Design Canvas to change this behavior. Now, there are caveats to what is available to you based on how you originally set up the start behavior of your process. What I mean by this is, if you chose to start the workflow based on the submission of a smart form, then you will only be able to change the form that starts the workflow. You won't be able to switch that existing workflow to start from a SharePoint event option. Likewise, if you originally chose to start the K2 workflow based on a SharePoint event, such as when an item was added to the list or checked in, you will only be able to change the events that start the workflow. You won't actually be able to switch this workflow over to begin when a specific smart form is submitted. Let's take a moment to look at what we're talking about here. When I originally set up this Hello World workflow, I configured it to start when a new item gets added to the Hello World list, which is a SharePoint event. For this demonstration, let's change it to be manually started instead. Before I get too far into this, I want to quickly show you that the manual start is not an option available to the currently deployed workflow by opening the context menu for an item in this list and selecting the K2 Workflows option from the menu. Once the screen appears here, if we had the ability to start a manual workflow, we would see the Hello World workflow in the drop-down list on this screen, and we'd also be able to select the Start button. Now I'm going to flip back over to the K2 Elements screen and open the workflow for editing. This may take a few seconds, so I'll pause the video for a bit. Okay, now that the workflow is open, we can select the workflow settings from the start icon right here on the canvas. I'm going to unselect the item that was added option and select the option called workflow is manually started. Make a note here, you can select multiple start events if your workflow requirements call for that capability. That's all I want to change on this wizard, so I'll go ahead and finish it out and deploy it. Great, now that that's deployed, I'll select Close and Exit here to go back to the K2 Elements page for this list. With the updated workflow deployed back to K2, let's tab over to the list item and open the context menu up to the K2 Workflows option again. We'll give this a few seconds to open the page. As you can see here, the Hello World workflow is now an available option in the drop-down list, and the Start button is enabled. I'll quickly start the workflow to show that it works, and then we'll go back to the landing page of the HowTo K2 site. As you can see, there's an instance assigned to me as the originator of this workflow. Moving on, remember, if you chose to start your workflow from a smart form instead of a SharePoint event, you can also go into the workflow settings on the design canvas in the same fashion as before. I have the beginnings of an expense claim workflow in this case that was set up to use the K2 generated new expense claim form at first. After realizing that the user may want to enter information in first and edit the expense claim multiple times before submitting, I'll change the start form here in the workflow settings by selecting the ellipses button and drill down to the edit expense claim form in the dialog window that appears. You can actually select any of the available forms here in this list, but you'll need to be sure that the form you select has a Submit button set up 
so that a K2 workflow start rule can be applied to the button later on in this wizard. Also, keep in mind you may be prompted to change where the folio box gets information in order to move on to the next window. It was originally pulling the title value from the new expense claim forms smart object, so as you can see I'm switching it to pull in the title from the edit form smart object. We don't need to set anything else in this wizard, so I'll move through it and allow it to wire up the edit form submit button with the start workflow rule and close out the wizard. Now I could actually add another button to the edit form that specifically designed to start the workflow and wire it up here in this wizard. But for the purposes of this demo, that's pretty much all there is to using the workflow settings wizard to change the starting behavior for your processes. We would like to thank you for watching this demonstration. We hope you have a better understanding of how and when you can change the start behavior of workflows in your environment.